I'm Paul Baker Prindle. I'm director of Carolyn Campagna Kleefeld, Contemporary Art Museum of California State University, Long Beach. We're looking at Lee Krasner's Stretched Yellow. She painted it in 1955 on top of an earlier canvas that had been exhibited at Betty Parsons Gallery in 1951. If you look at the canvas, running up the middle of it are two vertical stripes. Those stripes are the whispers or reverberations from the painting that's actually underneath this painting. So she goes back in and she repaints it and starts messing what, with what really is now a background. Uh, of the painting. And then she starts figuring out other ways to introduce additional grounds or dimension to this flat painting. And by doing that, she's really kind of playing a game and she invites the viewer into this um, game. And, and I think what's so important about this painting is that it really is kind of lyrical or poetic. It, it doesn't have a narrative, and you're really meant to sort of lose yourself in this space that she's created. So when you look at the painting, one of the ways she makes it look like there's space between the different elements is by playing with how color works. So there's a great sort of section right in the middle of the painting where there are some blue fragments of paper collaged both on top of an orange vertical stripe and also this large black piece of paper. So when you look at how the blue works on the orange, you see that the blue kind of dances or vibrates because when you put blue on top of orange, it does this thing to our eyes that makes it look like it's on top of the orange. I think that's really what is the most exciting thing about this painting, is that she's having fun with how color works. In 1955, Lee Krasner shows uh, this painting, three others like it, all remade paintings on top of 1951 canvases. And uh, she shows these works at Stable Gallery, which is on the Upper West Side. And this really is the exhibition that solidifies her reputation. She, like many other women of her time, never saw the fame and fortune uh, that their male counterparts saw. And it's really only in the last couple of years that these women are again being revisited with new eyes and people are really understanding how important they are. She got to enjoy her eldership knowing that she was gonna have a lasting legacy. I think that's important because I think what she did is so important that I don't think we can understand this era of painting or really American painting at all without her.